Hey guys, welcome back to Little Blessed Nest. Today we're doing a Christmas home tour. Now, I'm not doing a full home tour. This is just like a mini Christmas tour because I only decorated my kitchen and living room. But I hope you enjoy it. Come along and let's get into it. We're gonna start here in the kitchen. This basket hangs here pretty much year round. It was a thrift store find. I just added pine cones, berries, and a little velvet ribbon to the front. This area pretty much stayed the same. Just added this little basket of berries on one of the shelves. And then here on my kitchen island, I added a plaid runner down the center. This wooden board down the middle I picked up at Hobby Lobby on 50% off back during the summer. And then you may recognize this lantern here in the middle. I picked this up um, at Goodwill. It was in one of my recent thrift hauls. I just added a little wreath in the middle, which was also from Hobby Lobby last year. On the other side of my kitchen, I set up a little hot cocoa station with some mini marshmallows and some candy canes, and it's really come in handy. I added some Santa decor up above on my little shelf, along with a thrifted pitcher. And my hutch, you of course have already seen. I'm going to leak, leave a link up here in the right hand corner and in the description box below in case you missed that video. You can go back and watch all the details. I moved my blanket ladder into this corner here and added this wreath that I thrifted last year. And then I just added some more of this velvet ribbon on here. I'm not great with making bows, but I did the best that I could. I had a tree skirt that I used to keep down here at the bottom, but Remy would absolutely not leave it alone. He drug it all across the living room. And I saw this at Lowe's and I really had been wanting one. So I went ahead and picked it up and put it around the bottom of our tree. We have several beautiful ornaments on our tree from subscribers that were sent last year. And this year I got this sweet crocheted angel. It is so pretty. Thank you to the sweet subscriber who sent that to me. On each side of our television, we have these wooden wall hangings and I decided to hang a wreath on each one of them. I picked these wreaths up at Aldi and then I ordered some velvet ribbon off Amazon and tied them on there. I really like how this turned out. I also added some greenery onto the top of our TV stand. This is live greenery that I just picked up from Lowe's. I thrifted this beautiful painting a few weeks ago and I didn't even realize when I bought it that you can put batteries in the back and the lights actually light up. I just think it's such a pretty winter scene. And then this little snowman I picked up at Goodwill. It was only $4.99, which I thought was a great deal. It's a really good size and it lights up. It has fiber optic lights that change colors. I really enjoy this little snowman. Um, the tree that you see sitting here was also a Goodwill find several years ago. Um, just set it here in a little gold metal um, container and I really like how that turned out as well. I really like to make it cozy in here and unfortunately I don't have a fireplace but I put this little fireplace scene on off of a YouTube. You can find scenes like this on YouTube to play on your TV. Little Bonnie is just sitting here chilling out in her little white blankie. Just look at those little eyes. I swear I can't even. She's so cute. And there you have our little mini Christmas home tour. It's a little space, so there's not a lot to show, but I hope you enjoyed it. For lunch today, I'm making this creamy Italian chicken dish that I saw Lori Conway um, share. She shares a lot of recipes on Facebook. I don't know if she's on Instagram or any of that, but um, I'll put the recipe in the description box below, but that's where I got it. I wanted to make sure I give her credit. I've never made it before, so we'll see how it turns out. I'll show you what goes in it right here. So the recipe calls for four chicken breasts. I chose to use chicken thighs, a packet of Italian dressing, um, a brick of cream cheese. I didn't have a brick of cream cheese, so I went ahead and used this. I wasn't sure if it would be okay or not, but it turned out fine. Uh, but I do recommend using the actual brick instead of the whipped. Um, and then pepper to taste. 
and then you're gonna add two cans of cream of chicken i only had the cream of chicken with herbs which it turned out just fine with this so whichever one you have will be okay and then you're just going to spread that on top of the mixture and you're going to cook this on low for six to eight hours in your crock pot and then you're going to shred up the chicken and you're going to add 12 ounces of cooked egg noodles or dumplings i used egg noodles in mine once you add those you want to let them cook for about 20 minutes all right we're going to do a little taste test timmy tell me how it is here we go Creamy Italian pasta. Well, good. You like it? Mm hmm. Tastes like a gourmet chicken and dumplings to me. Chicken and dumplings? Mm hmm. It's got noodles. Noodles. Not dumplings. <laughs> but it's just as good. It's just as good. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up in the biggie side way. <laughs> As are many other places, we are under a winter weather advisory. We were supposed to get, I think, two to five inches overnight, so we'll see. Connie, what is going on here? Remy, you stayed out of the tree all this time. Why are you climbing in it again? current situation so Remy has decided to take tree climbing back up as a hobby and a sport <laughs> what are you doing I, I know I told her Remy what are you doing in there that's a no-no he was doing so good up until this week and all of a sudden he started climbing in the tree again <sighs> I don't know why This one is so jealous. It's okay. It's okay. You get attention to Look at him. Oh my gosh. Needless to say, this is not going to be one of those years where I leave my tree up till mid-January. As aggravating as this can be with this tree, I wouldn't trade him for anything. His little big butt. Alexa, what is the temperature in Elkton, Kentucky? Right now, it's one degree Fahrenheit. One Today, degree. Expect a high of nine degrees. One degree Fahrenheit, expect a high of nine degrees. Oh, this is a Bonnie. Poor Bonnie has to go out there to use the bathroom and she's just so cold. Thank you, girl. Let me get you a sweater. All right, I'm gonna get my shoes on and go out here and clean all the snow up off the ramp. And I'm wearing Timmy socks, so don't mind that. <laughs> I have all this dang flocking all over my pants. It, it's just gotten everywhere this year. I ain't about this life, y'all. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it, Remy? If this isn't hot cocoa weather, I don't know what is, so I'm gonna make us some. This is definitely not one of those homemade yummy concoctions that other home vloggers are probably showing you right now, but let's be real, this is how I make it and it's still awesome, so here we go.
I wish I had a candy cane to put in it because I like mine to have a peppermint flavor to it, but I'm fresh out of those. So we'll just add some marshmallows and it'll be, still be great. our video last year for Christmas I'll fill you in on what's going on here we do this every year this ball game um, we take different things like gift cards money just anything that you can wrap in this saran wrap ball and then you have to roll a dice we just chose um, the number five if you have to roll a five 
and then it's your turn to unroll the, the ball, and then the next person rolls the dice, and as soon as they hit five, they take the ball away from you. It can get quite um, wild, <laughs> especially when we get near the end of the ball. Do nothing with a baby in your lap, and you done got two gift cards. Oh, is that his? I thought it come out when I wrote it. Uh, no, that's a different one. <laughs> roll it, Demi, roll it. Five. 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 Let a Jeff Five. card drop in Daniel's Five. lap. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie got bored with me because it wouldn't let her have the candy. Five. Five. Daddy don't win that here, so he's like, Help her alone! Poor Air Freshman! Woo! Look at Chelsea! Wink! Wink! Lighter! He said I want this lighter! Five! Five! Oh, because you got a gift card! Carl missed that uh, one. I can't get nothing. <laughs> That's the hardest one I ever seen done, Ralph. Come on, Caleb. You can have one. Oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, you can have one. 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 <laughs> well, somebody's gonna win. It ain't gonna be me. <laughs> it's gonna get wild. Who's, who's yeah. supposed to be rolling? Who rolled this uh, <laughs> Come on, Demi, keep rolling. Roll, oh, just unravel. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I don't want that. I think he just dropped some money down there. Who? Me? Her. Me? <laughs> no, you don't get to keep the ball long enough. Five. Uh, <laughs> 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 Ew, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We were so preoccupied, we didn't even notice that the little guy here was grabbing all the candy. He's like, they're not watching me! I'm going to take all. He's a good! Come on, Daniel! They're breaking some bad in the body. No, it's on the well Daniel's got the money. Come on, Chow, Stacey. I mean, how? Daniel's got it. He's going to get that off our chest. You got to get the bag. Come on, Sammy. You got to get the bag off, buddy. Chelsea just made that rule up on the spot. Come on, Sammy. You got to get the bag off, buddy. Chelsea just made that rule up on the spot. Merry Christmas, Dad. How's it going? Wonderful. Wonderful. Did oh. you enjoy spending Christmas Eve with the family last night? I enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. You did your best. I think that was your best effort with the ball that you've ever had. And I was all in for it. You was all in for it? Yeah. What are you going to sing today? Oh, come all you think. No, um. Yeah, I think that's what you said. Is that I think that's it. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, ye, oh, come, ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, come, let us 
us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. Good job. There you go. That's a good one. Good Bonnie, seemed, Bonnie seemed to enjoy it. Her hair's all crazy this morning. Been out in the snow. You ought to see mine under the cap. <laughs> see yours under the cap? Yeah, well, let's not. Yeah. Well, it's Christmas time, pretty baby. And the snow is falling on the ground. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> well, it's Christmas time, pretty baby. And the snow is falling on the ground. Well, you be a real good little baby. Santa Claus is back in town. Got on sleep with reindeer. But I got a cat in my tree. <laughs> Gonna mash all the branches. And make me Halloween. Right, Christmas time, pretty baby. And the snow is falling on the ground. Well, well, you be a real good little baby. Remy! He leaped into it from the couch. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. Tell them, Bonnie, say Merry Christmas, friends. Merry Christmas. As always, Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. Amen. So I hope that you uh, you uh, realize that that's the greatest gift we could, we could have ever received. If you haven't received him, as a, if you haven't received that gift, then uh, the Bible says the day is the day of salvation. No time like the present. All right, friends, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you, as always, for hanging out with me again today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.